hey what's up everybody my name is karan and welcome back to my channel again my channel name is ganpri hope everyone is fit fine and taking care of themselves so now the next question is like when the je means result will announce so the first thing is je means result will be announcing most probably today or tomorrow so as per the nta website so as per the news articles it's showing like in couple of hours to be showing but i think it will be announced by tomorrow evening uh, most probably or by today's late night so that what i think so anyway so what after je means uh, second attempt what you have to do that we will be discussing in this video so the first thing is in this what is the difference in this je means first and je means second attempt result the major difference is now you will be getting a rank as well right you will be getting a je means rank as well so for all the candidates who are applying through the dasak uh, category in the uh, or they are residing in the gcc countries what will be happening with that je means rank now you have to apply in the dasa portal and as if now the dasa portal is not open so you don't have to worry so what we uh, what i'll be showing i'll be showing you last year cut off with which we can try to understand what are the possibilities for this year so at my left i will show you all the details so kindly have a look <coughs> recording in progress yes so if you see in here so this is a last year cut off a last year cut off i'm showing you as you can see in here it's mentioned dasa 2023 right so this is the cut off for the last year right so if you see in here the all the all the nits are available in here so if you see last year malvi national institute of technology so this is a very famous college in jaipur mnit jaipur we call it so if you see the cut off is mentioned in here so if you see there is a ciwg category ciwg category basically means children of indian working in gulf so if you see the cut off is clearly mentioned here so at one percentile i will repeat at one percentile you can conclude 10000 rank okay so at one percentile you can conclude 10000 rank and as per your rank you can expect or you can predict by yourself your expected college so what you have to do you have to download this pdf i will be giving the link in the description or you can join our whatsapp channel there i will be sharing you all the details along with that you can join for the individual counseling we had given the instagram and whatsapp number in the description so now what you can see in jaipur the cut off what they are showing for the computer science in cwg category is 89000 right so what that does mean that in 89000 your percentile should be approx 90 percentile right so with that 90 percentile you can if you are scoring 90 percentile now and your rank which you are will be getting in je main second attempt is lying something between uh, 70000 to 85000 you can expect this college again i will tell you that this Uh, cut off varies but this is for the at least you will be getting a rough idea that what are the possibilities of the colleges that you can get right so this is for mnit jaipur likewise if you go down you will be finding calicut so if you see the calicut thing again you have to see ciwg category so all the candidates who are deciding in gcc countries they have to see this ciwg category right So this CIWG you can see it is closing at forty-eight thousand means on an approach your percentile should be ninety-six and more, right? If your percentile is ninety-six and more, then there is a good possibility to get an IT calicut in here, right? In CA in CIWG category and branches computer science, right? The basic difference in CIWG and non CWG is for the non CWG you have to pay around 35 to 40 lakhs and in CWG category you have to pay on an approx 8 to 10 lakhs okay so in here you can get this college at 96 percentile again if you see there will be a non CWG option also 
Yes. So, if you go a little bit more down, you will be finding the other colleges with the same rank. Suppose, in here you can see NIT Suratkal, right? So, if you see the Suratkal thing, in here, this is CSE, right? This is CSE, if you are seeing, this is closing at 40,000, right? So, this 40,000 is for non-CAWG candidates, right? Means, non-CAWG means you have to pay around 40 lakhs. And now the major confusion is, okay, how we will be doing the choice filling. Suppose you, <coughs> you want to go to the non-CAWG category, so what will be the process, right? So the thing is that you don't have to do anything. You will be finding all these options while you are doing the choice filling. So suppose you want, your priority is an IT Surat Kal, right? Your priority is an IT Surat Kal. So what you have to do and anyhow you can afford the budget of 35 to 40 lakhs for four years. So you have can fill this at first and then second CS. So you'll be finding that here an IT Surat Kal CSE1 that is stand for CAWG and CS just below. So, in case your rank lie in the CAWG, then you will be getting the first preference. Otherwise, if you lie rank lie not in the CAWG, but it lying in the uh, uh, non CAWG category, so your second preference will be this, and they will be automatically taken. So, this is a very basic, you know, thing. <coughs> you have to do while do the choice filling another major important thing are that the choice filling is a very complex part i will tell you so but the thing is that if once you had done you cannot make it the changes in the choice filling right so if you had done the choice filling once then there's a no possibility to change the choice filling again so it's better to make the choice filling very smartly in case you know it's very good otherwise i will suggest you can hire a professional uh, counselor for that in case you want to join us you can join us as well otherwise i will suggest make a proper choice filling list <coughs> or you can ask your counselor to make it if you want to join us we can also help you out with a very nominal charges jai hind jai bharat and as always god bless you all